Soshi Tea Talk Train of Thought with a series of episodes with Mrs. Aditi Gupta. Uh, she is a Mrs. India uh, Singapore winner and also a professional marketer in, uh, and also as a soft skill trainer. And she has been part of a corporate for more than uh, 10 years in the finance sector. And we have an interesting conversation with her on the personality aspects. Ma'am, welcome again to this uh, episode. Thanks so much. I think in the last episodes we have covered what personality is all about and also we did spoke in terms of uh, the work on our overall outlook and the body language and now in fact at the workplace like you know how one can improve uh, the overall personality let's start with the listening uh, skills like so what do you have to say about that I think all the time from the childhood till date we always say listen to me listen this to particular me. statement has become the golden statement for each and every one you mm-hmm. don't listen to me or listen to me mm-hmm. so i think listening is one skill that everyone needs to be serious about and needs to develop in a way where the the understanding and the un- understanding as well as the message absorbing that particular message becomes important because if you are not an active or a good listener especially in the corporate world you will tend to deviate from what your goals are good lot of times in meetings and all you will listen to only 20 percent but what happens to that 80 percent Good, right good, and good. that is where you are unable to achieve the goals or mm-hmm. probably understand the actual sense okay this meeting was for a particular agenda mm-hmm. listen to it completely we think that people are only attentive only during you know either early when it begins at that point of time oh, or exactly. during the at the end and but what that happens that. to that 60 percent so in case if we put it like 20 20 percent at the end but what happens to that 60 percent is something which is a big failure mm-hmm. segment Correct. where we get lost Correct. we don't have the capacity and mm-hmm. that's where our listening capability needs to be improvised on mm-hmm. so that becomes one of the biggest challenges in today's world also with each and every one not just you and me but everyone faces this problem mm-hmm. so how do you develop that habit is you really really need to calm your mind mm-hmm. and make sure that what is it that gives you the energy of listening you know whether you're making right. notes or whether you're taking pauses during the meetings mm-hmm. and allowing the other person to listen Mm -hmm. and sometimes also allowing the person to develop the listening skill by interactions a lot of time Mm -hmm. it is only one-sided communication where people feel little low on the energy and Mm -hmm. the listening capacity from 100 to it falls down to 20 to 30 so that is where I think their pauses the right pauses the right understanding okay of the subject and Mm -hmm. making notes developing further to you know ask questions a lot of people feel don't ask questions you just keep listening listening keep listening, listening. Correct, correct. so that is something which we need to build on so if you are mm-hmm. managing a big team make sure that you also develop their listening capability it is not about one way message mm-hmm. but as a team you are exchanging an information for which you are expecting results also correct, so yes correct. listening becomes important which we need to work on on a constant uh, basis correct uh, as Raki said, like you know, uh, once the conversation starts, 20% you are very active at a particular point of time, and once it winds up, then for a person yeah. more active. But 60% which is there, you have to be more active in listening and asking your questions which are there, which can overall improve the uh, personality at the workplace. Okay. Uh, it's an excellent uh, thought given on listening. And how about the uh, tone of and voice? How does that play an important role in uh, personality at the workplace? So, what is the tone of voice? Tone of voice is the you know is made of inflections where you are adding an emotion or a meaning to the message. Mm-hmm. Okay, like I I cannot say I hate you or you know there is a difference or I love you or probably why didn't you do this? Okay, mm-hmm. if I say why didn't you do this? So there is lot of things that why didn't you do this? you are emphasizing and putting an importance to the message that you are conveying. Mm -hmm. So when you are having a conversation, it becomes very, very essential to understand where are you putting the emphasis on, Mm -hmm. right? When we are saying congratulations to X person, you are raising your voice, you are emphasizing on congratulations, which is a celebrity moment. Mm -hmm. And that is how the person understands it. Second is pitch, high pitch, low pitch. I think all of us by now know that you know when we are scolding it gets too high pitch sometimes when you are talking to the audience as a public speaker then Mm -hmm. their usage of high pitch is required sometimes it is neutral or sometimes it is just a soft switch also Mm -hmm. and the other element also is volume 
uh, people often forget that what their volume should be sure. so uh, most important part is to understand you are not screaming and yelling right. volume does not mean high volume low volume right, right. means high volume means i have to scream like that okay right. but it also mean are you you know able to hear me in a right decibel it's not something which is people often feel oh i would you know raise my voice and put forth and then they will listen it right. is not about it volume means having understanding of how you are communicating a message in a powerful way and whether the audience is able to hear you in right sense good if there is if there is a very low voice people are not attentive if good. there is a high voice people just feel okay. you know agitated sometimes why are why are these people shouting and talking mm-hmm. to me so you need to understand the situation you need to understand why you are speaking what you are speaking mm-hmm. and make sure your you know you work with your inflections you work with your emotions in the messages you work with your pitches and you work with the volume also right how it helps is it keeps a balance mm-hmm. and the interest of the audience i see we also say okay the voice is monotonous you know i can't after 10 minutes it's like it just goes same goes, like it's like that okay yeah. so we don't want to do that right yeah. and that is how the tone of voice is very very important mm-hmm. you have everybody has their own you know uh, way of uh, having the voice and the volume mm-hmm. but sometimes people do have the capability which they don't use it in a right sense so mm-hmm. these are the three things that you can work on Mm-hmm. Uh, which is called uh, inflection, which is the upward and downward inflection. There are two types of inflection, and pitch and volume. Where, of course, high pitch, low pitch, volume you can increase or decrease depending on the situation, the circumstances. I see. It's an excellent insight given in terms of uh, the listening. Uh, all about maybe many a time it so happened like once we are part of a certain meeting, a twenty percent initial stage you are very active, and the last part of twenty percent you are very active. Absolutely. But in between. 60% which is you tend to lose the focus and then you're not a good listener where i think that's the time where you need, really need to practice to be a good active listener which is a which rightly you have said and also many times in a corporate like you know tone of and voice plays a very crucial role as rightly said many a time the bosses uh, they come they yell at certain things and the tone uh, pitch uh, which goes up i think one needs to balance uh, the tone by looking at the situation and so this forms a uh, uh, important uh, aspects of an uh, personality at the workplace and i'm sure like it's whatever uh, these steps and the insights given by mrs aditi gupta on tiktok ek boom soch ki i'm sure is going to help uh, many of the professionals who are working at the corporate place in improving this couple of and skills of which are required uh, that's listening and the tone of and voice very it plays a very crucial role as far as overall personality which is concerned and i'm sure like if you follow closely and practice that it's going to make a healthy uh, uh healthy atmosphere at the workplace uh if you like uh, uh, the insights given by mrs aditi gupta on ekbun soch ki on personality aspects just go to www.ttalk.net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can do catch up with mrs aditi gupta on personality in our next episode on ttalk ekbun soch ki ma'am thanks a lot thank you thank very you much so much